Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Stedman. Today I'll be teaching you how to crochet this beautiful hat. It's very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're gonna need to make. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see it in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you will find the English version in there. Also, I have some playlists. You have the English playlist and you'll find almost all my videos in English. To make this hat, I'm going to use these two yarn. This one is a wool like similar length from loose and thread. 100 grams. 85% acrylic, 15% nylon. The color is red, a super fine one, but I'm gonna double the strand. So I'm gonna make a ball uh, with the two strands, okay? This one I'm gonna use just a single strand. And this one is loops and thread. Joy DK, 100 grams. It's 100% anti peeling acrylic, light three and it's like a light gray it's a cloud in the color so the crochet hook is 4.5 millimeter you're gonna need tapestry needle and scissor and a measurement tape I made a bow with two strands of this and one. one with this one singles so we're gonna do a chain multiple of eight. So you're gonna chain the size of the circumference of the head of the person that you're gonna make this hat for. So you can make this at any size as long as you have multiple of eight chains. So I started with the red and when I have the amount of chain that I need for my adult size one, I will let you know how many chain I did. Here I have a chain of 80, and I'm gonna close the circumference, making sure that my chain is not twisted, that all the V stitches that you see, they are to the top. I'm gonna come here to the first one and do a slip stitch. And like that, you have the circumference of your hat. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Jan over as to do a double crochet. You're going to go to the next chain space and you're going to do an elongated double crochet. So you have three loops. You pass it through one, through two, and two. That's an elongated double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next, pass it through one, two, and two, yarn over, and the same. For a total of four, counting the chain three as the first one, like this. Now you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, yarn over, you're going to skip four chains. So one, two, three, and four, and then number five, you're gonna do an elongated double crochet. You pass it through one, through two, and two. Yarn over as to double crochet. Pass it through the next chain space. You have three, you pass it through one, two, and two. Yarn over, go to the next, through one, two and two yarn over and go to the next one through one two and two and you have four you're going to chain four one two three and four yarn over you're going to count one two three four and a number five again you're going to do your first elongated double crochet of four one, 
three. And four. Now you're gonna chain four, and in the fifth chain, you're gonna do an elongated double crochet. Like that, you're gonna continue, and you're gonna finish with a chain of four, okay? At the end. I'm gonna finish with a chain of four. A slip stitch on the third chain. And like that, you finish your first round. Now we're gonna work in the second round. And we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Jan over. Now we're going to work our elongated double crochet. Let me move that tail out of the way. And this row and this chain space of the border, okay? So you're going to go to the first one and you're going to be trapping this chain in between. I have to make sure that I grab the two strand that. So you have three, you pass it through one, two, and two. Yarn over, go to the next one. Go to the third one. And go to the last one, number four. It's the same repetition, now you will chain four. Yarn over, you go to the lower chain of the border and do four elongated double crochet. One, two, three, and four. This is the same stitch of my shawl the pineapple feel show. So I like the stitch and I decided I will try doing a hat in the round. So I hope it work. So I'm gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over and again you're gonna do the four elongated double crochet. So you're gonna continue working like this all the way until the end, until here, and I will meet you at the end to show you how you're gonna finish and start with the next color. I'm gonna finish here and the last space. You see, this is the chain three where I started. We have the last empty square. So you're gonna do your four elongated double crochet. So that's one, two, three. And four. You're gonna do a slip stitch on top of the chain three in here where you uh, finish the last row. You did a slip stitch on the third chain in exactly the same space. You're gonna do a slip stitch. And you're gonna pull your yarn like that. You're gonna leave it there on the side. And we're gonna start working now with the next color, leaving this one here for when we need to start working with this color again, okay? Now with this color you're gonna do a slip knot and you're gonna do a slip stitch in the same space where you did that slip stitch in here, okay? Exactly the same. And top of the third chain that you did to start with. Nothing to do with these three, these ones and the top, these four chains in here, those ones will be trapped now on the stitch. So what you're gonna do is in the same space, always keeping this one to the side for when it's time to work with them, you're gonna pass that loop and you're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. Jump over, you're gonna go to the next elongated double crochet and do an elongated double crochet. And another one, and the next one. So in total of four. And the chain three count as the first one. 
Now you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to work again. And this one's here. You see, you're going to be trapping that chain four and working in these lower stitches. So it's very easy a stitch to do. And as you work, this start to get straight in here. You see you have a dent in here. But in here is more straight because you're working already those stitches. So again, you're going to chain one, two, three, and four. Jump over and go to the elongated double crochet that have the chain space on the top and do four. You see, in the next round, we're going to be working only on top of this one, doing the chain space on top of this one. So it's very easy. Like this, you're going to continue working all the way until the end. And I will meet you here to show you how you're going to finish this round and start the next one. That is done with the same color as this one that we're working. I'm going to finish here with a chain of four. One, two, three and four and before you do the slip stitch you have to make sure that this yarn and the uh, loop is in here in the back don't do your slip stitch with this one in the front you have to make sure that it's like this okay and in the third chain you're gonna do the slip stitch and in the same um, space in here and where you did the slip stitch is where you're gonna pull this color through it's exactly what we did here that we start working in we're in the same place that we did the slip stitch, okay? So I want you uh, to know that because that's how you're gonna uh, end and start every single uh, round working in that chain three space. You're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four, jump over and and here in this lower uh, elongated double crochet, you're gonna do your four elongated double crochet again. You see, it's very easy pattern to follow. And four. Now you're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, and in this red elongated double crochet, you're gonna do your elongated double crochet. And like that, you're going to continue working all the way until the end of this round. And I will meet you here to show you how you're going to finish this round and how you're going to start working with the next color. We don't going to cut the yarn. We're going to keep it there for when it's time to work with this color again, okay? Exactly how we did with the red. And four. And again, your four elongated. Double crochet. So I will meet you here when I'm done this round. I'm gonna finish here. You see, with my slip stitch and top of the third chain in the same space that I did the slip stitch in the row before. And in here I'm gonna pull to create this one bigger because we're gonna change color. We're gonna put this one to the side here. And now we're gonna work with the red. Put this one to this side. And now and here. In the same space where you do that slip stitch, you see? And here you're gonna pass your hook. And you're gonna grab that loop of the red. You're gonna pass it in here. Don't make it too small because you're gonna pull a little bit. And you're gonna pass it through to the front in here. And then I'm gonna pull it 
No, I need not pull it too tight because otherwise it will shrink that stitch. Okay? So you want to chain one, two, and three. Yarn over, you see this one is on top of that one. It's the best way that I could do to create this stitch in the round. And so it's not perfect, but it's not bad. So you're going to continue working your other elongated double crochet, leaving this in here. You see? From, uh, when we going to need to work with this color. This time, so you have to make sure that you do your four elongated double crochet because in one of the space I made the mistake of making three because I don't realize I wasn't counting and I have to do a little bit of this color and fix that three and four. Go to this space in here. All that you're going to do the four elongated double crochet and these lower stitches. You see, and in the next row, it will be in this one here where you do the, your elongated double crochet. So you're going to continue working like this. I will show you how you're going to finish this round, how to start the next one, and how you're going to start again with the next color. And from there, you can continue working until you have the length that you need for your hat. Okay? So here is the beginning and end of our hat. So I'm going to finish here with a slip stitch and make sure that this waiting yarn here is no trap by the red. So you're going to come here in the third chain and you're going to do a slip stitch. And you see in that third chain is where you're going to take out that color next. You see, as you work, it looks a little bit be better. Okay. So now you're going to chain 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, yarn over, and on top of this color you're going to do the 4 elongated double crochet, and like that you're going to continue working with this one, and when you finish this round, I will show you how to start with the next color, and from there you can continue working on your hat. Um, it's really easy, it's just the same repetition, repetition I will have done so far, so it's over and over the same changing color, two row of one color, two row to the next color and it start to look really nice and as you work it will look even nicer. So finish this round and I will meet you here to change color one more time. I'm gonna finish here making sure that when you do the last stitch you don't grab the jar that you're gonna work with. So again you're gonna go here and top of the third chain and do your slip stitch it's always in the third chain, okay? And you're gonna pull this, keep it to the side. Now you're gonna pass this to the other side to keep this one in this side, you see? It's easier that way. Now you're gonna pass your hook through the same space that you did the slip stitch. And you're gonna grab that loop, pull, but not too small. That will shrink the chain three. You see, I have the loop there and the chain three, it looks exactly the same. And again, you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And you see this chain three that I did now is the same that you're going to finish the two row, okay, with this color. And start the next row with this color. Because that way you will have the stitches as you're supposed to. You see, one higher than the other one okay that way is the same so again you're gonna do your other three elongated double crochet you're gonna chain four and do again your four elongated double crochet in the next space and you're going to continue working these two repetitions over and over until you have the length that you need for your hat. So I'm going to work on mine. When I have my length, I will measure it and I'll let you know for how long you have to work for yours. You see, that one is waiting there. And 
a look perfect. So when you finish this first row with this color, you will do the slip stitch on the third chain. You will chain four and continue with the design. When you finish the next uh, round, you will do the slip stitch again in the same third chain. You pull the string or the loop to the side and then you start with the red, pulling the red exactly in the same third chain in here. And your hat will be seamless and perfect, okay? So I will meet you here when I have So and here I'm not showing the border at the top, that way you can see that you don't know where you start and end the rounds. They all look the same. And in here is the beginning and end of the round, but it looked exactly the same as this one, you see. So now, now I'm going to measure what I have done. And I'm going to measure to a solid square in here, from this one. You can even this up a little bit. They still have a small indentation, but you hardly notice. Uh, make for a really nice border for the hat. So from here, from that border to this one is exactly eight inches, and eight inches is twenty and a half centimeters. So now, no everybody are working exactly with the same yarn as mine. So every yarn, the work it will be different. Uh, uh, Sometimes bigger the stitch, even if you use the same size uh, needle, bigger the stitch or smaller even the tension of the crocheter so for example for me for eight inches I finish with this two round of this color but maybe for you eight inches will be in the first round of this color so I still have to do one round with the red that still be eight inches 
maybe a little bit more than inches because it make it grow just a little bit but not much but it's just to close this one and then in the next round of the red I'll be closing the little gap that I will create with that stitch that round now if yours is until here you will do one round with this one just like this but then in the next round with the next color you'll be closing the gap because your eight inches were here okay and this one in here so in the next round you'll be closing the gap uh, I hope um, I explain myself well okay so remember if you have eight inches until here you do the next round with the same color and then in the third one you will do the closing the gap to gather the top of the hat um, for mine I still had to do two with the red okay so now I'm gonna cut the yarn from here and chain one leave it there for losing later and then I'll start working with I finished here with the slip stitch. Now we're gonna close these gaps and you're gonna chain one and in the same space you're gonna do a single crochet. Now you're gonna do a single crochet and top of each elongated double crochet for a total of four and that one was one, two, three, and four. Now in here you're gonna do four double crochet, no elongated, just a regular double crochet so this will be a little bit uh, more than 8 inches this, the length three and four double crochet now on top of the elongated double crochet you're gonna do four single crochet and I try to do them in, to do them inside the stitch, no in this little um, in the grabbing this two strand because otherwise you have a little hole there. I'm going inside the stitch, a little post, and do my single crochet. You see in this part here. And now you'll do four double crochet and like that you're going to continue all the way around you're going to finish with a slip stitch and you're going to cut a strand or a tail long enough to pass twice through the top of the hat when it's time to gather so what I wanted to explain you as well is if when you measure your hat you had this uh, first row of this color like I explained before the 8 inches and then I told you to do this one as your regular stitch and then in the next one that was when I did this one you will do what I'm doing now okay closing the gaps okay just on top of this with only one row of this that way it's not too long the hat okay I hope that is uh, uh, well enough explanation for you to I'm do gonna that finish okay. here this little stitch 
and you're gonna cut the strand long enough to pass a couple of times through the hat. Now you're gonna come to the inside and you're gonna lose all those tails, secure them and lose them. And this one here at the beginning. And in here, you see, that's where I brought this strand up. You're gonna have a little line like that. But on the right side, it will be perfect. So lose those tails and I will show you the end result. This is a little tougher from those two little balls of yarn. So in the front it will look like this and in the back the same that you don't know where it begins or end the rounds so it's a very even design now I'll put it on in the mannequin and I will show you well that. this is the end result and it looks really really nice with that com color combination and the stitch you see it's very easy to do and with those measurements, it's the perfect size. So, I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this hat and you want to send me some pictures, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stemman Crochet 
or my Instagram previous time and crochet. Please share my videos with friends and family. That way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day.